a Paul, a moment of brilliance and some brilliant defending, and you have the win. How do you feel? Yeah, I probably feel like the lads feel just exhausted. Like it's hard to win a game of football. I say that all the time, and it takes everything, and everything matters. Every tackle, every winning header, everything. And um, I thought against a really good Blackpool side, you know, they're bringing on some really good players as well. I knew they're a very good football inside. I think we limited them to very few chances, um, and it takes a lot of work from the coaches uh, to. You know the out of shape, out of possession stuff, where you should be, and all that. And I appreciate at times at home, you want more of the ball, but every time you bounce to get it, they're an athletic team; they bounce it around you. So, um, so, so to come away with a win and a goal of that magnitude is probably befitting a game like that. I thought as a neutral, it's probably a good game. It's pretty end to end, um, and so for Eves to score one like that was a, a pretty magical moment. We talked a lot about Ebu Adams and what he's added since you brought him in in January. It's nice that he's got that in his locker as well. Yeah, I know. Goals, I always say to him, I mean, he, he, he jumps so high on celebrations, he should score more headers. And in fairness, talking about headers, I thought we should have scored first half from a set piece. Um, but yeah, I love Ebes. Uh, he's been brilliant since he's been in. I said from day one, he's a, you know, a really good person, first, for, first and foremost. But a good footballer, a good competitive one in the middle of the park, which we needed. And the only thing I don't like about Ebes is if he's ever behind me when I'm clapping fans. I keep thinking I'm getting booed. All the time, because I say, stop. He like follows me, honestly. I don't, he shouldn't get booed if you won, at least. Um, so, really pleased with him. Really pleased with the two centre halves again. Obviously, we had to go back to a back four because of the you know the situation. You know, Sibs is playing out of position. I thought um, done really well. You know, it's not easy to go from being a ten to an eight to a three. <laughs> um, so, generally speaking, really good. It's just a pity we didn't get a second goal. Wash had a chance. We had a couple of little bits and bobs, but. Overall, really proud of the lads. I think you can see how much is, you know, is taken out of them. We have to make subs. We we done the physio team done brilliant to get Nat in any position to play, and that was a a right boost for us. And obviously, we had to take him off. Corey fatigued. I thought Corey was really good today, a real good outlet. And against a different opposition, he'd have probably had even more of the ball. So I'm really pleased. I don't think I've got any injuries. Before you ask me. Um, don't think I've got many issues. The results have been kind. It's been a really good day, and the, you know, obviously, it's an amazing feeling getting on the pitch with the lads at the end, and the, and the place is bouncing, and there's still some flags. So, um, yeah, really pleased. How much do you want them and, and you to enjoy moments like that, the celebrations at the end? Yeah, I do. You know, life. Uh, I sound a bit deep here, but a bit dark. But life is short. Careers are very short, and you've got to enjoy being a footballer, and you've got to enjoy playing under pressure when you're going for something. Like if you're playing. If you're 15th in the league today, through no fault of your own possibly, but if you've got a game and if you win, great, and if you lose, and you, like no footballer is involved in it in it for that. They're in it for to do something and, and to achieve something and to be linked forever that, that you were a great team that done something. So, And I want the lads to enjoy every moment of it. I said to him before the game, you can ask him about <clears throat> like pressure's a privilege. You, you, you're lucky that you're, you're playing for something. You've got 30,000 people trying to egg you on. Um, and you're playing for my wife and two kids who are here today as, as much as their own. So, yeah, really pleased. I want them to enjoy it. Um, but until you've achieved anything, you're just very close, aren't you? And there's a lot of teams that are very close. Um, and hopefully we can be very closer in a couple of weeks. James Collins got a brilliant reaction when he came on. How much of a boost is it to get him back ahead of schedule, I guess? I know, it's really good. I mean, he's had a, an amazing season. He's trained so hard. The physios, again, have been brilliant with him to get in anywhere. Like, I honestly didn't think he'd be back this season initially. Uh, and it's nice for him to come on. Uh, his son wrote me a nice card before the game, buzzing with that. And for him to come on like Ibrahimovic is uh, probably the first time in his career he's had. Uh, so, yeah, really good. And, you know, the fans know how much we missed a nine and how hard he worked and how hard Tomo worked when he came on. And, um, you know, I just laughed with Conor Hurahan that I'm, we must be good at coaching because we've actually coached him to kick for touch. I've never seen him ever do that in his career. So that was good. Went for a, a line out and then won the ball back. So... That was really good. So there's pockets of, you know, good stuff today. There's times where, you know, obviously not everything's going to be perfect, but the result is, and that's all I worry about now. It's about results, you know, trying to keep them fit and healthy for the next one. And then after this one, we get a little bit of a, a rest. And then, you know, obviously we've then got four left and they're going to be big games and there's no givens. You know, last weekend we played against Northampton. Uh, didn't do enough to win today. You know, in the moments we've done enough to win. Uh, and we're going to have, uh, you know, is it five games left or potentially eight? 
Um, so we'll have to, you know, see how it goes. But generally, I'm waffling, pretty happy. My brain's all over the place. But I hope everyone who came today enjoyed it. And thank you for staying with the team because it was a very tough game.